Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. I've got Dr. Howell today. He's going to talk about COVID-19 and pets. Whoever thought putting that together. Thank you very much for having me. All right. Uh, it's kind of hard to put COVID-19 and pets together. Tell us why we're thinking this and why do you know about this? Well, people worry, of course, with all the pets that they have. There have been less than 40 cases where an, a domestic pet was positive, and only a handful of those show any clinical symptoms. So it's very unlikely that they get it, but it's still good to follow precautions. So there are some basic things that you have to worry about if you do have the disease. You know, maintain social distancing from your pet is good. Wear a mask around your pet. Don't hug and touch your pet. And if at all possible, have somebody else uh, do the feed and watering and taking care of your pet. When you say have someone else do the feed and watering and taking care of them, what do you mean by that? So if somebody else if, can keep the pet away from you if you are sick, so that uh, you just don't give your pet any unnecessary risk of coming down with it. There's been just a couple of dogs that showed clin minor clinical signs, a few more cats, that had a mild respiratory illness and they all got over it okay. But just to keep your pet safe, you know, if you're sick, have somebody else uh, take care of the pet, if at all possible, if there's somebody else in the family. I want my audience to know that Dr. John, John, John Howe is president of the American Veterinary Medical Association. And he's here to talk about COVID-19 and some precautions for us to take with our pets. Okay, Dr. Howe, uh, so we're saying that we don't, well, I don't know, I'm not gonna, I am not going i do not know if I can say it this way. There's no transmission between domestic animals to humans, but there is a transmission between humans and animals? That appears to be so. Just very minor cases, though, of humans to animals. Because the virus, the coronavirus, has really spread human to human. Um, even the case in a, couple, uh, a few days ago, there was a couple of mink farms in Utah, and the mink got the coronavirus and so, and they get much more sick. Some of the, a lot of those died. And in the Netherlands a, a few months ago, it was in there in the mink. So mink are much more susceptible as are ferrets and a lot of people have pet ferrets. So, <clears throat> but dogs and cats, you know, minor chance of getting it. It's still good though to, if your dog, if, you, uh, if you're healthy, it's good to take your dog out and exercise your dog uh, take it to dog parks if it's not overcrowded, because dogs still need socialization. You know, a lot of people have adopted uh, new puppies and dogs since they were at stay-at-home orders. And so <clears throat> now they're going to be going back to work, some of these people, and they need to acclimate their dog to being gone so their dog doesn't get separation anxiety behavior. So that's an important thing to think about, too. understanding, just a brief synopsis of what COVID-19 is? Sure. So COVID-19 is this novel coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, that, you know, is affecting people all over the world, of course. And dogs and cats are uh, almost, you can't say that they don't get it, but, you know, 40, under 40 positive cases in the United States out of 5 million people. So your pets are reasonably safe from getting it. pandemic out, you know, from America, we've gone from being sequestered in March, and now we're in August. Uh, you gave us some precautions for our pets. What else do we need? Bring these numbers down. Well, I think uh, the social distancing, of course, is a big one, and wearing masks if you're out in public. Um, but it, it varies, of course, across the country. Uh, some people still live in a place where there's a fair amount of it. And some people live in an area where there's almost no cases whatsoever. So I think once it goes through everywhere and people you know, get exposed or get over it, or once we get a vaccine and people get vaccinated, of course, that's going to help tremendously. Okay. We're on social media also, and I have a great question. Uh, the poster, it says that they're in... Uh, uh, they're baby boomers, so that means they're 65 or older. And are there any uh, unique challenges for them and their pets? 
Not really. Uh, the same, it'd be the same with anybody with their pet, other than, you know, of course, older people like myself uh, would be in that baby boomer category. So I'm a little more cautious about taking unnecessary risks. So I don't come down with it. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, common sense. You know, if you're, when you get done playing with your pet or doing anything, it's just good hygiene. Uh, important thing to think about though, if you're walking your pet outside, you know, don't put a mask on your dog. That would greatly restrict their breathing or uh, disinfectants on your dog or on your, on your pet. That would be bad, something they could lick and get sick. That's great. That's a great thing for people to uh, avoid. Doctor, I want to thank you so very much. And as we move into uh, being a, a COVID in charge society, once again, anything you might you want to tell my audience about how to bring these numbers down? Sure. There's a lot of quotes they may still have, and they can find all the answers to their questions pretty much if they go to avma.org slash coronavirus. We have a great website with all kinds of information updated daily, nationally, internationally, everything that's going on with this virus. Dr. Howell, thank you so very much for talking to the Boundary BB Show audience. And I'm looking at my social media because my audience is made up of baby boomers and they pets. So thank you very much. Oh, you're more than welcome. Thank you. My phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Bounder BB, host of the Bounder BB Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Bounder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Bounder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely.